Here's a Pioneer 4K Smart Zumo TV. I'm going to show you how to perform a software update. First thing is go to the settings on your TV. You can click on the home button, go to the home screen here, and go to the little gear icon, the settings uh, icon up there. If not, you have this remote right here. You, you have the settings button right there. You can just tap on that gear icon. Left pane here will open up, and we want to go down to device settings, click on OK on the remote. And then from here, we're going to go all the way down to updates right there. Click on OK on the remote. Now we will have to update manually and you will need a USB drive or a USB flash drive, right? So let's click on OK. So if I click on start update now, it's not going to work, okay? So let me just... Uh, or I'll stay right here, but we need to use a flash drive. Go to our computer and go to zumo.com, front slash TV, front slash USB dash update. Okay, but we also need the model number uh, to choose the correct uh, software update when we're on the computer. So let me just go back here and I'm going to click on the back button here. So if we go to about, go all the way up here and you can see, let me just click on OK on the remote. You see where it says service code? That is your TV model number. So I have to remember that PN43. Now let me go to my computer. Open up a web browser on your computer and then go to that website. And then once you're here, update TV using USB. You want to go down here and select your TV. So I'm going to go down here. And that is a Pioneer. So I'm going to go down to Pioneer. And i got to find that model number, which is uh, this one here the PN43 with the 43 inch. So I'm going to select on that right there. And now here's the update, okay? And then I can go ahead and download update. So go ahead and tap on that. And then you have to uh, click I agree down here. And it's not going to work until you read through this all. So just scroll all the way down. There you go. Now it turns green down here. And then you want to select I agree or continue. Like down here is kind of covered up. Let me tap on that. And then from here, you want to go ahead, it's going to go ahead and uh, the download is going to update or uh, download to your computer. And then once it's uh, done downloading to your computer, you can just open up the folder there, open up the folder, and then we got to find it, okay? So just go to downloads if you're on a Windows computer. And I actually already downloaded this update. I actually updated that Pioneer TV like a couple days ago. But this is the uh, file name here, the PIT. So what I have to do is drag this into my USB driver, my USB flash drive. This is a SanDisk here. I'll put a link below. I got it from Amazon. But let me go ahead and connect it into my uh, computer here. If you don't have a USB-A, you only have a USB-C connection like this on your computer, you can always use one of these adapters. But anyway, I do have a USB-A on this laptop. Okay, so the USB drive is um, it's plugged into my computer here, and I already downloaded the USB drive, but I'll just pretend I'm doing it again. I'll go over here under my downloads folder, and I'm going to copy, and then I'm going to go to my USB drive, which is my D drive right there. I'll click on that, and then I already have it on here, but what, what I did originally was I right-click my mouse pad, and I go down to paste, okay, and then boom, there it is. Uh, right here and if I move it over I can see it's like 338 kilobytes anyway it's in my USB drive let me go ahead and pull this out now now I'm going to plug this into the back of my TV I only have one USB A which is like all the way in there so let me go ahead and plug this in so the USB is plugged in now let me go back to my settings again settings we're going to go down to device settings again right there okay on the remote now we're going to go to update okay click on okay okay again and now the usb is in there so let's see uh, if it works start usb update go ahead and click on okay right there installing update this whole process takes like one or two minutes so just be patient right here Take note that this is my second time installing this uh, update. The first time I did it, and then I'm doing it again just to show you guys what I did to update. Once this is done, you sh it should restart your TV. Restarting now. It's booting up.
And voila, we're done. Update's good to go. Questions or issues, uh, just comment below.